全民英语能力分级检定相关测验，初级模拟试题，听力测验。第一部分，看图变异，请依所听的题目和三个英文叙述，选出与所看到的图画最相符的答案。For question number one, please look at picture A. Question number one: What did Simone and Bonnie do yesterday? A. They went to a supermarket. B. They visited a farm. C. They tried to raise some money. For questions number two and three, please look at picture B. Question number two: How did Nancy feel this morning? A. She was bored and tired. B. She felt she was ready for work. C. She felt her job was fun. Question number three. Please look at picture B again. What did Nancy want to do? A. She wanted to eat at a Japanese restaurant. B. She wanted to study science in Japan. C. She wanted to take a vacation to Japan. For questions number four and five, please look at picture C. Question number four: What did Walter and Naomi do last night? A. They did some exercise. B. They had a barbecue. C. They took some lessons. Question number five. Please look at picture C again. What else did they do? A. They looked at the moon. B. They ate delicious rice noodles. C. They finished their homework. The second part. 问答，请依所听的英文句子，从选项中选出一个最适合的答案。Question number six. Have you ever seen a ghost movie? Question number seven. Michael has taught English in Taiwan for six years. Question number eight. Who does the money on the table belong to? Question number nine. After breakfast, Mike decided to work out in the gym. Question number ten. I think your English will improve a lot if you take a long vacation in the U.S. Question number eleven: How did your son feel when he found out the gift was a book?
Question number twelve. The child is scared of those people in ski masks. Question number thirteen. What does the public think about the beautiful actress? Question number fourteen. How many temples are there in this city? Question number fifteen. What's the topic of your paper? Question number sixteen. Dad, what's the plan for the holiday? I'm thinking about taking you to Fulong Beach. Why not Bai Shawan? The water is cleaner at Fulong Beach, and the view there is nicer too. Question: What do we know about the speakers? Question number seventeen: Why did you buy another CD player after I gave you one on your birthday? Well, CD players from Japan are better than those from the U.S. Why is that? Japanese ones are cheaper and less likely to break down. Question: What do we know from this conversation? Question number eighteen. Oil prices are lower than ever, so more and more people are buying cars. Why are the prices so low now? Getting oil out of the ground is easier now. I see. Thanks for your time and for answering my questions. Question. What does the woman do? Question number nineteen. Why do you ride your scooter to work? It's faster than taking the bus. Why don't you take the MRT? It takes even longer than the bus because I live far away from any MRT stations. Question. What do we know from this conversation? Question number twenty. Okay, I'm going back to work now. Wait a second. Can you help me carry this box to the meeting room? Why do you always ask me to carry things for you? Because you're stronger than me. Question. Where are the man and the woman?
Question number twenty-one. Whose CD is this? Oh, that's mine. Do you like the Burning Stones? Yeah, I'm a big fan. I really like the way Keith plays the guitar. I didn't know you liked rock too. The Burning Stones is also my favorite band. Question: What is true about the speakers? Question number twenty-two. Do you remember Roxy from junior high? I remember her. She was very pretty, but also quite shy. Why? I just saw her on TV. She's a singer now. Wow, that's really something. She must be very famous. Sure, and she is training to become an actress too. Maybe we should give her a call. Question. Who are the speakers talking about? Question number twenty-three. Why are you wearing that dress? Are you going out? Yes, I'm going out with Tom Barty. Tom Barty, the most handsome boy in our school. Yeah, he's very cute. He asked me out yesterday. We are having lunch together. Don't tell mom and dad. Okay, but you have to help me clean my room. All right, just don't tell them. Question: What is true about the speakers? Question number twenty-four. What's your favorite subject? Hmm. I like science and music. How about math? No, I'm terrible at math. I always get bad grades. Me too. But they say I have to be good at it if I want to be an engineer. That's true. So. You should study harder. Question: What do we know about the woman? Question number twenty-five. Have you seen Joseph's new pencil case? No. Why? I've never seen anything like it. It has a lot of buttons and does a lot of things. Sounds interesting. So, what can it do? Well, it can play music, and you can even play games on it. Wow! I really need to check it out. Question: What does the woman think about the pencil case? Question number 26. Please look at the following three pictures. Listen to the following short talk. How did Sam die? Dear friends, today we're here to say goodbye to our good friend Sam. Sam was my best friend. He died of a heart attack on his way to work. We are all very sad, but let us remember he brought lots of joy to our lives. 
Sam was kind to everyone, even to difficult customers in his shop. In fact, he was probably the kindest person in the world. On the morning he died, he even stopped his car before he passed out. Sam also loved making people laugh, and he was better at it than anyone else. I'm sure everyone is going to miss him a lot. Question number twenty-seven. Please look at the following three pictures. Listen to the following message. What might Daria not find at the market? Hey Daria, what's up? I just saw something very interesting, and I want to share it with you. Do you remember the gym next to our school? Now it's a market. It sells all kinds of fruits, vegetables, and snacks. What's so special about it? It's full of the most popular foods from countries around the world. I tried a cookie from Italy, and it tasted better than any other cookie in Taiwan. I know you like snacks and fresh fruits. Let's go to the market tomorrow. What do you say? Question number twenty-eight. Please look at the following three pictures. Listen to the following announcement. What fruit does not grow on AMC Farm? Dear customers, welcome to AMC Fruit Farm and Market. We have many kinds of fruit here. You can try our apples first. The seeds come from Japan, and we grow them on our farm. Next, you can take a bite of the pears. We didn't grow them here, but these pears from Korea are the best in the world. When you're thirsty, you're welcome to drink the grape juice. We make it with fresh grapes from our farm. Also, you must give our pumpkin pie a try. We make it with pumpkins from our farm too. Question number twenty-nine. Please look at the following three pictures. Listen to the following short talk. What did the speaker not do on her trip? Good morning, everyone. Today is the first day of the semester. Let me share my summer trip with you guys. I wanted to take a break from life, so I went to Dubai. If you don't know the city, I can tell you it's the largest city in the UAE. It's in the Middle East, so the weather there is very hot. I went to the top of the Burj Khalifa. It's the tallest building in the world. I also went skiing. Yes, skiing in the desert. There's a place for people to ski inside a large building. It was great fun. I wanted to see the desert, but I didn't have enough time. I know I will go back soon. Question number thirty. Please look at the following three pictures. Listen to the following announcement. What should you do if you want to win a big prize? Dear customers, thank you for shopping at AMC Department Store. In order to give you a better shopping experience, we would like you to answer a few questions. Please go to www.amcdepartmentstore.com.tw to answer the questions. If you finish the questions, we will send you a picnic basket with lots of candy and buns in it. If you want, you can also send us a letter and tell us your opinions. We will give you a basket and a chance to win a big prize if you answer the questions in our store. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.